Who doesn't love strawberry shortcake? I remember it was my sweet 16 birthday cake, as per my request. It's so delicious and so simple, and it makes for the perfect summertime treat. As we head into strawberry season, grab some extra berries because you are going to want to make this shortcake. guys so first to get started on our shortcake so we're making a pound cake and this one is so delicious it's perfect with this shortcake so you want all of your ingredients to be room temperature your butter your milk your eggs so my butter's room temperature I always leave that out my milk we're gonna pop this into the microwave for about 20 seconds it takes the chill off and if you forget to take your eggs out at room temperature here's a tip so you just want to take your eggs, put them in a bowl, run it under warm tap water while we're creaming our sugar and that will bring them to room temperature. Okay, so creaming butter and sugar is really important. It is pretty much the beginning step of making any cake. Why do we cream the butter and sugar? Because it makes for a really light and fluffy cake. What happens is you create that air aeration <laughs> little tongue twisted a little air you create aeration and which in turn when you add your dry ingredients with your leavener when it goes into the oven and bakes it just puffs so butter and sugar into the stand mixer and we're going to cream them until it's fluffy and pale for about three minutes so periodically as we're creaming the butter and sugar you always want to push down the ingredients into the bowl and get underneath that dimple at the bottom of the bowl. Sometimes things get, things get caught up under there. And then just continue creaming. So we creamed our butter and sugar, so come on around. I want you to see, this is the texture that you want. Okay, so it should be light and fluffy. And now we're gonna add our eggs and the milk. So just one at a time. Now at this point, the mixture will curdle. Don't stress. It'll all smooth out. And we have pure vanilla extract. Okay, so we're good to go on our next step. So I went ahead and sifted cake flour, my baking powder, and then just dumped in my kosher salt. So you definitely want to use cake flour. It's going to make for a lighter and more of a moist pound cake. So don't use all-purpose flour. So here is my little trick to adding the flour into our stand mixer. So low speed, just on number one. So that way all this flour, it's not going to whoop, in the kitchen. There's a way to contain it. And then adding all the flour a little at a time so that way we don't overwork our pound cake. So just sift it through. Once all the flour is in, you wanna take a minute, push it down, and then slowly continue mixing just until all the batter has come together. Just don't overmix it. We want this cake to be really moist. All right, we're good to go. So I went ahead and sprayed my loaf pan, heated my oven to 350 degrees. I'm gonna transfer the batter into the loaf pan and bake until it has puffed, it's tender, and cooked through, and when inserted with a toothpick, comes out clean. The old-fashioned technique that my mother used to do. Still works today. So our pound cake is in the oven and now for the strawberries. So a lot of strawberry shortcake recipes literally just have strawberries cut up, tossed on the cake with some whipped cream. Well, I wanted to make a little bit of a sauce. So I riffed my technique, the same technique that I used for my blueberry pie, I'm using 
for this strawberry sauce and it makes it so delicious. So this really makes a great sauce. You need a lot of berries. We got about two pounds. I'm gonna wash them, haul them, have them. Some of them we're gonna put in the food processor and puree. That's what's gonna create the sauce. And the other half, we're gonna keep them whole and just slice them or quarter them. So for the small ones, you just want to have, for the larger ones, you want a quarter, but a true hull is just removing that little stem. So if you just snip off the whole top, you're really losing a lot of the meat of the strawberry. So you just want to go in with the tip of your paring knife and remove it like that. So I took a little bit of those strawberries, pureed them into the food processor, now this is how we are going to create a delicious sauce. So I kept the remainder of the berries. Some are halved, some are quartered. You want to keep them to the side. We're going to add a little bit of lemon juice to them. But this we need to cook in a saucepan with some sugar and cornstarch. So the cornstarch is going to help to thicken it. So over medium heat, we have our sugar and our cornstarch. You can add a little, little pinch of kosher salt that just brings everything together. Now we're just gonna cook this until the sugar melts. So you just wanna whisk it. Once that sugar melts, we'll cook it for a few minutes and then remove it from the heat and let it cool completely before we then fold it into our strawberries. So it's really important that you bring this mixture to a bubble. It has to come to a boil in order for that cornstarch to fully activate and thicken. Okay, see, now this is what you want. You want the bubbles to break the entire surface. And then, it let, and then let it cook for a few minutes. You'll start to feel it thicken, and that's what you want, and then remove it from the heat and let it cool. So basically, we, cre we created a strawberry glaze folded it into our strawberries. We first cooled it before we folded it into the whole strawberries. Well, actually, I quartered some of them and halved some of them. But I also brought out my pound cake. I'm letting it cool on a wire rack. So while that's cooling, this is gonna set and develop great flavor. So we need about an hour for that pound cake to cool, and then we'll assemble this delicious strawberry shortcake. So here is our pound cake, a basic classic pound cake, but this one is really delicious, really moist, I love it. So we let it cool, room temperature for about, about two hours. It will still be ever so slightly warm. All right, so you just wanna slice into the pound cake. I would do this really right before you serve it because you don't want the pound cake to get soggy. You could just have all of your pieces sliced and have your strawberries in a beautiful bowl and let everybody just top the strawberries right on top. Get a little bit of that sauce in there too. I'm telling you, you are gonna love these strawberries. Then I went ahead and made some homemade whipped cream. My Costas loves when I make homemade whipped cream. This is just basically heavy cream, confectionery, sugar, vanilla. You just wanna whip it, whip it to soft peaks. You could also buy store-bought whipped cream, but it's better when you do your own. Look at that. Simple, delicious, perfect treat for summertime. Oh my God. It is so good. Mmm, it's tender. It's so delicious. For this recipe, head over to the newspaper's website. I'm Shereen with Cook This. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time.